Hi, welcome to Camlish.com. I'm teacher Emmy, and I'm going to be your teacher in learning the English language easily. The title of our book is Classroom English. This is a practical guide to teaching English through English. Now let's start our discussion on page 126. Okay, so this is page 126, and as you can see, we're already on the fourth part of our book, okay? So the topic is English for activities with different group sizes. Again, English for activities with different group sizes. Okay, we have here lesson number 41. The topic is forming pairs. Number 42 is pair work. 43 is small group work. And 44 is presenting small group work. Okay? So that's the fourth part of our book topic. Now let's start our discussion with lesson number 41. Alright, starting with lesson number 41. Again, the topic is forming pairs. Okay? So forming pairs. Now the teacher's language, language would be like this one. Now let's do some pair work. Today, we're going to pair up with someone new. Find someone you haven't worked with before. Who hasn't found a pair partner yet? And the last one, you can be Sumi's partner. So that's forming pairs. Now we have here the student's language. I don't have a partner. Okay, again, I don't have a partner. Now let's try to see that in a dialogue form here below. Starting with the teacher speaking. Now let's do some pair work. Today, we're going to pair up with someone new. Okay, students, okay. Teacher, everyone please stand up and look for a new partner. Find someone you haven't worked with before. The students walk around the classroom looking for new partners. Then, who hasn't found a partner yet? <coughs> hey, Mina raises her hand mm -hmm. and says, I don't have a partner. Teacher, okay. Looking around the class, Sumi, what about you? Don't you have a partner? Sumi said no. Teacher, Mina, you can be Sumi's partner. Mina, okay. Now let's try to study the other expressions this time. Starting with number one. Today, we're going to pair up with someone new. You could also say today, I'd like all of you to find a new partner. Or today, why don't we find new partners? Now let's go to number two, the expression, who hasn't found a partner yet. Let me know if you don't have a partner, or tell me if you haven't found a partner yet. So it just means the same thing. You can use the question form or the mm -hmm. sentence form, okay? Now number three, the expression, you can be Sumi's partner. The teacher could also use, why don't you be Sumi's partner? or go over to Sumi and be her partner. Alright, now we have here again below the Korean translation of the dialogue part. And here's the continuation of it. Now we have here finding partners. Find a person or partner who is taller or shorter than you. About your height or wearing the same color shirt as yours. Now let's go to lesson number 42, and the topic is pair work, okay? Again, the topic is pair work. Now let's go to the teacher's language here. So first one is, one of you will be A, the other will be B. Next, decide who is A and who is B. Next one, let's see who the A's and the B's are. A's, raise your hands. Now, last one, 
the A's will ask questions and the B's will answer. Okay, so those are some of the teacher's language regarding the topic pair were. Now let's see that in a dialogue form. So here below is the dialogue part starting with the teacher speaking. Now in each pair, one of you will be A, the other will be B. Decide who is A and who is B. Then the students discuss in pairs and decide. Okay, let's see who the A's and the B's are. Are you ready? Now the students replied, yes. Teacher again. Okay, A's, raise your hands. Then the A's raised their hands. Now B's, raise your hands. Then the B's raised their hands. Okay. Now we'll do an activity with a question sheet. Hands out question sheet. The A's will ask questions and the B's will answer. Does everyone understand? And the students said yes. Now let's try to study the other expressions this time, starting from number one. One of you will be A, the other will be B. The teacher could also say one person is A and the other is B. Or one person will be A and the other will be B. So it just means the same thing, okay? Number two, we have the expression decide who is A and who is B. The teacher can also say figure out who will be A and who will be B. Or you need to decide who which person is A and which is B. Okay? Number three, we have let's see who's the A's and the B's are. Or let's check who are A's and who are B's. Number four, we have here A's raise your hands. Or A's raise your hands to show us who you are. Another one is A's show us who you are by raising your hands. And last one, number five, the A's will ask questions and the B's will answer. Or A's you will ask questions and B's you'll answer. Another one here is let's have the A's ask questions and the B's answer. A's you can ask questions and the B's you can answer. Alright, and in this part you can check the Korean translation of the dialogue part. So that's it for our lesson for this video. Thank you for listening. Again, I'm Teacher Emmy. See you in our next video lesson. Goodbye!